Hello and welcome to this episode of Link Spring Live. I'm Bruce Stimson, Vice President and CIO of Link Spring, and I'm here today with Robert Hirsch, our Senior VP and Chief Operating Officer, and Alan Beagle, our Director of Professional Services. Welcome, gentlemen. Hi, Bruce. Thanks, Bruce. Thanks for having us. So today we're going to talk about professional services at Link Spring. Uh, what is professional services? Uh, what's it designed to do, and, and what are the strengths? Well, Bruce, Link Spring has always had professional service. Um, it was uh, part of our support and help desk group. Uh, we kind of approached it as a SWAT team, you know, and one of our partners, um, either uh, integrator or an OEM called mm -hmm. and required assistance. Uh, we would rally the troops and send someone out um, to help them out. Uh, January of this year, 2013, we made it uh, a department within operations. And uh, some of the strengths uh, we have within the group, you know, over 30 years of experience with Niagara, um, both R2 and AX. Mm -hmm. uh, we have Niagara AX certified developers on staff. Uh, they're very good with uh, Niagara, Java, and multiple languages. Mm -hmm. um, so we can do anything from wire sheets to helping you develop a... Uh, and, and these are people with a lot of field experience in a lot of cases. Yes, they, they also have um, lo plenty of uh, various controls uh, in their backgrounds. So. so somebody might have what, concentration and experience with one type of control and somebody else with some, some other kind. Yeah, and then they all have Niagara. Right, so. right. All right, so, so what does it mean when we're talking about professional services? Uh, well... The reason for professional services is an evolution, like uh, Alan was saying, we just started it and, and uh, coined it in January of this year, but we sell parts and pieces, in, which include software. Right. Uh, Linkspring does not just sell the parts and pieces and let our customers go and, and you know try to be successful on their own, which many of them are, but many of them need help. Right. All right. And some of that help exceeds the... Uh, uh, the requirements for support services, which is how do I create a station, how do I create a PX page, things like mm -hmm. that. That's what we try to do training for right. and help them along that way. But many times uh, a partner will uh, have an opportunity to sell a product that is he might not be that familiar with, but it's on a very large scale. So sometimes these are new people who are just learning Niagara and need help. Many and sometimes times. they've oversold or they have an opportunity to get more business. Many times they've either sold, oversold their capabilities based on uh, their knowledge of a new product, right? Or they've oversold their existing resources that they have in house. They might not be able to deliver on the project, and that's when our people come in, involved and we help them. Or they're going to go after a piece of business they know they don't have the support for, but they know they have link spring in their yeah, in their yeah, a real pocket. opportunity that they don't want to um, uh, forego. They'll they'll engage with us and we'll help them. Um, get the proposals, they know their costs up front. And Alan does a real good job of working with their project managers. Mm -hmm. And our costs are very well known, published, um, uh, expenses if we need to travel. Right. So we'll, we'll do the whole gamut where we'll do the engineering applications, we'll travel, we'll sweep the floors if that's what they need <laughs> us to do. But uh, we want to make, make sure that, that we're available to them. So without naming any customers, can you can you review a few different projects, give us some kind of an idea of what kinds of things we've done in the past? Yeah, we um, we have a, a large national retailer that uh, uh, one of our partners came to us with, and, um, and we helped them develop the structure, deployment assistance for over 3,000 instances of Niagara on a single structure, if you will, of supervisors. It's okay. multiple supervisors and a horizontal structure to allow for a single login. Gotcha. Um, so uh, we, we help them um, obviously construct and deploy that. Well, let, let me talk about that because I hear the concept 3D all the time around Link Spring, the 3Ds. Can you ex just explain what that is? Yeah, the, the 3Ds is... Uh, Something that a process that we go through, it's for discovery, development, and deployment. Okay. 
Okay. Um, the idea behind that is that, uh, and generally this is associated with a larger project, either right. uh, some kind of a product driver development or a really large project for replacing controls or in going with what they already have. But um, the idea being that uh, LinkSpring engages with the customer through a discovery process. Mm -hmm. Out of that discovery process, uh, LinkSpring provides a functional specification document mm -hmm. which clearly defines the scope of the project. Both parties agree on it. Um, and then uh, that is available to move into the next step, which is development. Mm -hmm. um, we, we bring it into our group and develop the product based on the functional specification. And then the last D, obviously, is deployment. Uh, we can help them get the product in the field. So and, and at any one of these stages, LinkSpring can just do that part and then be gone. So they could just do the develop or, or the design part or the discovery part, and yes. then tell tell the customer what they what they need. Yes, at the at the end of the discovery process, um, like I said, they will get a functional specification that they could either engage with LinkSpring, or they could take it somewhere else right. and uh, and have it developed there. Or if they uh, already have such a document, then they could bring that to LinkSpring, and LinkSpring could help them. Uh, yes. Get it out in the field or design and develop it, those kinds of things. Yep. Excellent. Sounds like a good uh, concept. So I cut you guys off there when you were talking about uh, customers, some examples that maybe you've done. Yeah, that, and like I said, that was a very large deployment of a Niagara, uh, multiple Niagara instances, which I have no doubt that's one of the largest uh, Niagara installs out there with a single customer. Mm -hmm. Some of the other stuff that we're doing, uh, we have another large medium size, I guess you could say, national account that we deal with. Uh, they have uh, 170 locations, um, of which half of those were the old R2 system. Mm -hmm. uh, we've been dealing with these guys for eight years. And uh, uh, one of the projects that we did this year was um, taking all the old R2 stores and c converting them to the AX utilizing the Tritium 603 boards. Okay. Um, and we just finished that up last week with the last one. It went, went yeah. great. <laughs> and uh, so now we have all of their product. Before that, we were using utilizing Obix to get the R2 into a common AX uh, supervisor, which was a challenge in itself there. We developed robots, we call them. Um, uh, one of yeah, the things, let's, let's, let's talk about those what when, when might somebody need a robot and what what is it how, how did that ever come up <laughs> <laughs> well it takes out a manual process within niagara the ones we're using it for is we have multiple stations out there and multiple sites they want to make a common change right within a, a common platform so we can ride a robot that so you can uh, send somebody out there on the road to actually manually do it Correct. Or write a write this software application robot yes. that does it. And then it utilizes, you know, the connection to the supervisor and automates the process for them so they can that robot can do it while they're sleeping. That's awesome. I like to describe some of the the, 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 the typical type of uh, clients that use our professional services are one. Uh, a lot of our system integrator contra control contractor types who need help with installation, commissioning, checkout. You know, that whole right. thing in the field. Mm -hmm. uh, many of those will also ask us to do, you know, straight up uh, pre-engineering uh, where we're doing uh, AutoCAD drawings, we're doing sequence of operations, right. we're, we're determining bills and materials for them, a uh, complete engineering submittal uh, uh, for, for a partner. But we also have what we call OEMs or equipment or product manufacturer type customers. And they might be rooftop in manufacturers, they could be other control manufacturers, uh, they need help getting their product up to uh, a level that Niagara can deliver uh, their information. Right. And many times we're engaged with, uh, a, that's a, a real hardcore software development uh, effort and uh, we implement the three D's most commonly in those situations where we're discovering what the product is. Is there, is there a proprietary source code that we need to get our hands on? Right. 
we need to sniff out the, the information off of a wire to make a driver or something like that. So sure. that functional spec that Alan was referring to is is very important to that whole 3D process. Mm -hmm. Without that, development is rarely uh, successful or rarely actually completed. Right. Because the functional spec is something that we all can agree on. We know what the end result's going to be, and that's what we're going to deliver. We talked about big projects and, and a lot of you know major retails with with 170 outlets. Can you give me some kind of idea of what range of, of projects you're available for? I mean, does it have to be a, a huge application or? No, um, we we have customers that uh, ask us to do anything from help them get the station developed from the start so that it uh, it has a good base. On the station, uh, we'll do wire sheets for them. Do so make kind of vanilla station that then they can take and roll out. That's yeah, that's correct. It, or we just do a commissioning visit. You know, there's uh, uh, whatever the customer uh, is needing help with is is what we we try to cool. provide. Okay, so I'm sure somebody who uh, is listening to this who might be interested in professional services would like to know how to get in touch with us or how to engage us. So. Bob, why don't you uh, tell them how they can get in hold, in hold of you and how that process works. It's interesting how some people get a hold of us. You know, uh, sometimes it's a simple, you know, if they've never heard of us, there might be a simple Google search on, on um, the items they need. And Google's so good these days where uh, our name will come, pop up under professional services. So let me be clear here. You don't have to already have an ex a pre-existing uh, relationship with LinkSpring in order to engage our professional services group. No, Bruce, you, you don't have to be a partner. But typically, uh, it's someone either is already engaged with us in, in a partner relationship, and those folks will either, uh, they in professional services, we don't have a direct line for contacting them, but go through your BDM or your business development manager, go through the, the support services personnel mm -hmm. uh, when there might be a question, or anybody you might be talking to at LinkSpring. Uh, we've also had uh, a number, if you don't want to contact us directly, you can also go to our representation at, at uh, companies like Tritium mm -hmm. or you know other vendors that we represent. And they will be happy to talk to us as well. Mm -hmm. and they'll refer you to us. Mm -hmm. uh, we've mm -hmm. had a lot of success in that way. Um, uh, it's amazing how many Niagara <laughs> folks that are out there, but we really do get a lot of referrals from other Niagara places as well. So at the end of the day, you're probably going to drill down and get, get a hold of Alan Beagle. And that's uh, Alan.Beagle, <laughs> B-I-E-G-E-L, at linkspring.com. Or you can dial our main number, which is 816-347-3500. We also have a, a professional services at linkspring.com email address. Excellent, uh, excellent. Another quick way to get us. Great. Well, gentlemen, thank you for talking to me today about Linkspring professional services. Thank you, Bruce. And thank you for listening to this episode of Linkspring Live. Mm -hmm.